Hi, it's Rob Moore here, and yes, I'm sat in a Ferrari. No bikini women, no guns, just a Ferrari. And yes, it's my Ferrari, and I want to tell you a funny story about a Ferrari, a Ferrari and maybe some weird life lessons. So, um, picture the scene. You're in your Ferrari, and you park up to a petrol station, and you put some fuel in your Ferrari. You're minding your own business, putting some fuel in your Ferrari. And someone comes up to you and says, can I take a photo of your Ferrari? Nice Ferrari, nice car, can I take a photo? And of course, you're a reasonable person, you're gonna say, well, of course, take a photo. So I said, of, of course, take a photo. And I didn't look at him because I was a bit weirded out, it happens all the time, but yeah, let him take a few photos. And then I get a message from Mark, my business partner the next day, and he says, Rob, have a look at this. And um, I am now appearing, if you can see that, in a Facebook group called Parking Like a Twat in Peterborough. So um, how else do you park in a petrol station other than next to the petrol pump to fill up your car? Now, there's some really interesting stuff about this. This is life. This, you've got to look at this. So I've got a community called the Disruptive Entrepreneurs Community. We've got people in 180 odd countries, thousands of disruptive entrepreneurs all over the planet, you know, doing good things, helping each other out. And that's got like, what, six and a half thousand members in the community. There's 10,000 fucking members in a group called Parking Like a Twat in Peterborough. There's 10,000 people in Peterborough. I didn't even know there were that many people in Peterborough. They're in a group called Parking Like a Twat in Peterborough and they're spending all their time posting people who park like twats. And I get posted because I fill up my car with fucking petrol. You've got to listen to this. Oh, I'm running out of battery power. I better get quick with this. So um, someone's commented that you're not allowed to use a mobile phone in a petrol station. I don't think that's about me. It's about the person who's taken the photo. Then someone has said, shame the driver is such a dick. I don't think they've ever met me. I don't know this person. This gets parked in disabled bays all the time. I have never parked this car in a disabled bay. I mean, if you want to attract some really bad attention, do that. But I have never done that. So I offered to um, pay a thousand pounds to their favorite charity if they could find me in the car in a disabled bay. Okay, so you have seen it on a few occasions. This is a funny one. Just realized it's a Tesco garage, isn't it? Who the hell puts Tesco fuel in a Ferrari? Well, Mark Homer does. Um, it must, it must be rich fuel for something like that, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so then there's nine replies to that. Me getting a load of hate for filling up in the worst petrol station in Peterborough. Got to put in Tesco 95, uh, fuel in a Ferrari. Should have V power or whatever. I mean, it goes on and on and on. And then Emma says, well, all the hate, geez. And then it goes on and on. There's like 65 comments about this. That's Rob Moron's progressive let's. I said, now I'm getting named and shamed. He crashed his car into the News International building. Yeah, I did do that. Um, all right. So someone says they'd rather have it in their garage. Um, ah, Jamie has said, my boss at Progressive Properties, they have loads of awesome cars. That's great. Someone else has commented, I'm putting Tesco 95 in it. You know, that's really bad. And then Emma has said, poor guy probably has no idea he's got a page dedicated to him, which I had no idea. Then Jamie says, multimillionaire business owner who's done better in life than all the people on this page. And idiots call him dumb because he's putting, uh, he isn't putting Shell, Shell V power in his Ferrari. It goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. So why have I posted about this? Well, I want to just try and put some life lessons on this. You know, people will hate you the very thing that is great about you. Whatever car you drive, you will get critique and comments and no matter what. So you might as well get the car you want, the house you want, the materials you want, live the life you want. No matter what you do, where you are, you mind your own business, you're doing your thing. Someone's always got, a, you know, some kind of opinion on it. Someone's always going to give you shit for the thing that you do best. Um, and so what would I say to that? I would say, crack on, do your thing, do it unapologetically. Help people be nice to people. Yeah, you know, I don't want to go around saying, no, you can't take a photo of me with the Ferrari because it's probably going to go in some group where I'm going to get a load of troll and, trolling and hating and whatever else. I don't want to say that. I want to be able to say when all the people and the kids and everyone comes up to the car and wants a photo because it happens all the time. Um, you know, I want to be able to say yes to them. But I just thought you'd like a, a, a post that's a bit different, a bit of a, a funny story on that. So I'm, face, I'm famous in parking like a twat in Peterborough, even though I didn't park like a twat in Peterborough and I still can't get my head around I mean, there's only 160,000 people that live in Peterborough and 10,000 of them are in this group. 
And because they're posting every single car that's, you know, like parked halfway in a space, they're putting all the energy and passion into this Facebook group. If they put that energy and passion into business, entrepreneurship, disruption, helping people, solving me, if they put all, the, all this energy into, you know, creating cures for diseases or charitable entities, they would be making millions and making a huge difference. But yeah, I'm going to watch, see what happens. So Emma's now gone on and gone, amen, to my reply. Uh, and actually, the guy who posted it's gone, sorry, it meant nothing bad. I posted it here as I thought it was a nice car. Unusual to see. No problem with you or your car. In fact, you were very polite and courteous to me. I posted to share the car, blah, 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 blah. I take my hat off to you, etc. Yeah, but um, hey, maybe we can get a little bit of a thing going. Maybe we can get parking like a Titan Peter up to 20,000. I'm going to do this as a bit of a social experiment because I've actually made a comment and I've, um, you know, tried to inspire people and let them know if they work hard and, you know, I was poor and if they work hard and chase their dreams and work smart and leverage and contribute and get in good groups and, you know, maybe they can um, become successful too and never sell your dreams and let's see what they say. Yeah, a little, a little bit of a, what do they call it, a thought experiment. But hey, thanks for tuning in. Some people will hate about you. The very thing that's great about you, you've got to do what's right for you, be authentic to you, um, because people are always going to have... I mean, imagine if you're Donald Trump, or imagine if you're, you know, one of these huge celebrities who have millions of followers, but hundreds of thousands of trolls and haters and whatever. And if you, if you dilute your message, dilute your car, dilute everything about you because you weren't worried about what everyone else is going to say and do about you, you'll never am amass to anything. You'll never change, you know, the, the worlds of inspire tens or hundreds of thousands of people. Marina has suggested post this video in the group. Mm, I'm not so sure about that. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Have a great day. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Hey, look, you know, people are going to hate you anyway, so you might as well be rich.